Hi guys, Rich Kim Retro here. Back with another pickups video. At last, we've got some good pickups. <laughs> Been very eventful the last couple of weeks. But first of all, thanks for my new subscribers. Um, thanks for all the comments from my previous videos. For some reason, they're not coming through on my Google messages, so literally every three days I'll go on there. Actually, on the YouTube website and actually, yeah, on the videos. Basically, I always, I always like, look at the videos and I just on my iPad, and for some reason, I can't message on my iPad either. It's really weird. So, yeah, I'm doing my best to write back. Yeah, so, yeah. So, I got, yeah, I got some awesome pickups. Um, yeah. Um, what, my last video was of um, Mini Retro Revival, which was in Kenilworth. Is it Kenilworth? Yeah, um, up north. Um, run by, um, I think it's Retro Fusion guys. Well, they say, yeah, basically, yeah, by the, by the Retro Revival guys. It's the main event is about the 9th or 8th or 9th of August. So they just did one literally just before Christmas. And it was, yeah, it was like brilliant. Such a good little event. <laughs> Bit of a hassle getting up there. I didn't finish work again to about half, um, yeah, about seven. So I didn't leave sort of like Cornwall to half seven. I thought, yeah, I could be up there in three and a half hours. But there were so many roadworks on the way up there. Those stupid roadworks from like close at 8, 8 p.m. to like four in the morning and stuff. So there was a stretch along the A38 where literally it was just a four mile stretch they close, which normally when you're doing like 70 miles an hour, it takes like three and a half minutes to do. They had a massive diversion and it took like 45 minutes and had to come on a different road. And to be honest, because it was like literally nine o'clock at night, I literally lost my bearings and I saw like the sign sort of like going back to where, well, going back the way I came. And I like, my heart was pumping and thinking, does that mean am I driving the wrong way? But I finally, yeah, finally got on, got onto the proper road. It was actual, just the way the diversion worked out. And there were so many lorries as well, which is pretty, because it was Friday night, really busy. It was just fucking, it was just chaos. So yeah, so that took an extra 45 minutes to go past a four mile road work, which normally takes three minutes, yeah, about three and a half minutes. And that was pissing me off. Then I got to Bristol. <laughs> Once again, the, clo the road closed between like, the M4 and the M5. And you had these stupid little signs that said like, road ahead closed, but it wasn't it wasn't like um sure what whether it was the M4 I think or the M5. But when I got there it was actually both of them and oh so oh, it pissed me off again. So I had to come back on myself for another like literally half an hour and then drive up to Wales where there's seven bridges and then cut across. So that was like yeah, pissing me off, yeah. So yeah, I left at half seven, I did not get to the hotel and into Canworth to about twelve o'clock at night. So I fucking finally made it. It was like, honestly, it was pissing me off. So about four and a half hours, took an extra hour or so. So it was like pissing me off. But yeah, it was a brilliant event. Yeah, check out my previous video, guys, if you haven't seen it already. It was just in, I guess it's just in like a kind of little village hall. Um, I thought I'd get up early because I think the event started about half ten. So I thought I'd get there for half nine. Um, so I used to like play expo and there's like long queues. And there wasn't any long queues. I literally just walked in. Just literally just walked, walked straight in. I didn't even. People were still like setting up and everything. Uh, no one even checked my ticket or anything. I just walked in, walked around, and um, there's a couple of people selling some stuff. Um, and I, thought, I literally, I saw, I saw these games, and I thought, oh, I bet they're going to be well expensive because at an event, you know. And this guy goes, oh, I'm just here. Just, I'm only here for one day, just selling, selling part of my collection off. And I was thinking, oh, they're going to be well expensive. And then he had. And this is literally what I got. I couldn't believe, couldn't believe the prices. I had to check with them. Like, are you sure about these prices? And I literally, yeah, picked up all of them. It came to about sixty quid, but um, I said I'd give you fifty pound. I only had like thirty pound on me because I didn't think I would actually be buying, buying so much games to be honest. And yeah, I picked up some good stuff. So, so my first game is Simon Quest for the NES. These are all Nintendo games. And when I saw them, I thought, oh, they're going to be like. And it was literally, as it says, it is five quid. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe five quid, just like cart only. Simon's Quest. And the label's in really good condition. The guy that was there, I don't know if it was a guy or a girl. It was, I don't know if it was, yeah, basically it was a ginger head guy with glasses. But he had a bra and he spoke like a girl. So, yeah. So that was, yeah, that was five pound. And then I got Bubble Bubble. Which one is, which one's this one? Just normal Bubble Bubble and that was four quid. And then, I think it's Bubble, no, Rainbow Islands. And that was five quid. And I couldn't believe the price of some of these games. Um, Pac Man. That was three pound. Oh, so far away from the camera. 
Road Fighter. I needed every one of these as well. I quickly looked at my list, I think I needed every one of these. Double Dragon, that's £3. Spy vs Spy, I remember, I'm sure I had this for the Commodore 64, the Amigo, it was a brilliant game. I'm not quite sure if that's a two player version. There's, I'm just, all I remember is a two player version, we were just stitching each other up and it was so funny. And I also got Zelda, The Adventures of Link. And that was five pound. And when I saw when I literally saw it and I thought, oh I was gonna pick it up, what's it gonna be? Like 30, 50 quid, and it was just like five pound. Yeah, so that's Zelda 2. This was all from the same guy, literally just even before the event, like, was even people were just like setting up right next to him. He must have literally just put the box out. And I got um Snake's Revenge. Actually got two of them. One without the manual, one with the manual, so I will have one spare the trade. And um, it's four quid. <laughs> yeah, this is the cheaper one, I think. The label is in really good condition. If you follow my Twitter feed on the day, I literally just posted it straight away. I'm there walking, literally. I, I, I didn't drive, I, was, I sort of walked there from the hotel. I didn't drive myself, so I'm like, walking around with a bag of games. Um, I think this is sol Solstice. The quest. For the star, for the demons. Yeah, that was four quid. I haven't even tried to peel the labels off yet. There's Snake's Revenge. This one's a bit more expensive. Six pound. <laughs> Better box. And it's got the manual. And the two that I was really surprised, I thought they'd be like 40 quid each. And that was The Legend of Zelda. It's missing the map. So it hasn't got the map. It's got the manual. Yeah, it's got the manual, the cartridge. Which could not be in better condition. I don't know if you can see. Look, that label is awesome. A little bit of random box damage just for when the like bloody original labels are. And my favourite one, which is... Mega Man, <coughs> absolute six pound for Mega Man. I could not fucking believe it. Could not believe it. It's all there, box and complete. I literally don't want to move it. <laughs> don't even want to play it. Just put it. In. I need to put it in the Sentinel sleeve as soon as possible. Will you, a Mega Man? Will you, yeah? You, a Mega Man, penetrate the seven separated societies of Doctor Will and preserve the human race. You are in control. Yeah, so I've, I think it came to about about 60 quid, I literally got 50 quid, I'm like, mate, I'm just going to pop to the bank, quickly, like, you've got to put all the stuff behind, and legged it, I just legged it, I'm like, just, where's the nearest cash machine, and it was one of those random kind of spa things, that I just put my card in, I think I had to pay £1.50 to take some cash out, but to get all them for 50 quid, he did have loads of Master System games on the cheap, but I had every Master System game, and I didn't need any of the manuals, so I left them, but literally an hour later they were gone. He also had a box of bloody controllers. <coughs> he had like Atari controllers, um, Atari light guns, and I should have picked some of them up with mate Kieran. He came along and got like um Atari light gun. It was grey, it was like an X XT or something, I don't know what it was. Basically like a grey gun. And also um the like an Atari proper joystick. He had a, it was a grey one of them. He had loads of black ones, but it was just a grey one. I thought, oh they're a bit weird. And then, like, yeah, half an hour later, he came along and picked them up. And then when I was like looking on eBay, they were going for like 30, 40 quid just for the fucking. just because they were grey. I'm like, oh, damn it. But yeah. So I can't really complain. So I got all, got all these. It was definitely worth the trip. Brilliant event. It was, it, was, it was a nice small event. I would say, I don't know, there's probably 100 people, maybe 100 people plus. There's so many people there. There's lo loads of competitions and that. And it was really brilliant. The Retro Lords, the great guys who were doing random competitions. So yeah. So I might, yeah, I, got, I did have, I did film on my iPhone, so I'm not quite sure I didn't put it on my PC yet, so I might insert the competitions now. So yeah, so you might see it, but there, yeah, they are, <laughs> so I might do it now.
while off your score yet. <laughs> it's not a team game. Uh, what country is. Stop answering questions for it. Uh, in what game do you hear the Harry words? It's not easy. <laughs> uh, what colour is Waluigi's hat? White. Yes. How many buttons are on this control? Not included in the D pad. Yes. What is Princess Zelda's secret identity in Zelda? Depends which one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. You've got to have an answer. Are you looking for the wrong one? Yeah. Okay, God. No, it's not Tom. <laughs> 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 Name the currency in the Final Fantasy franchise. Is it John? Okay, there we go. How many was that? That was nine. Now you have to switch. No. Okay, that's nine. I'll just say something. I expected to go through all of my questions. See, now it's great. Here we go. Which one of these I'll show you how you do the trick. Yeah, it's on the Every single one of your answers. You got your answers last week. Okay, okay, try it. Okay, so you can see the answer. Real game is bomb based on. Yes. How many packs are there? Four. Yes. Who is Jumpman? Mario. Yes. Who is Batman Psychic? Yes. What is, what is James Bond's code number? What animal is Donkey Kong? Uh, what does SNES stand for? How many control boards does N64 have? What is a one-up mushroom? And what colour is a one-up mushroom? Uh, what colour of tables is Donkey Kong? Yes. What colour is Batman? Not Batman, Pac-Man. Who is the hairy green electric player in Street Fighter? Uh, what is the CD attachment for a Mega Drive door? Same CD. Yes. Who are you going to call? Yes. Who are you going to call? Who are you going to call? Who is Shinji feeling remnant? Is Retro Lord Bob any good at Pong? No. Oh, wrong. Yes. Sheets. <laughs> Who has two thumbs? Don't give it down. No, me. <laughs> what time is this game show supposed to start? Two. There we go. Well, I think you've won it. You've got 15. You've got 15. You didn't even finish. <laughs> so that is another point to Team Aldershot. So another point to Team Aldershot. He's not even good for that. Retro collect. Retro collect. TDK.
If I didn't insert it, so don't worry about that. <laughs> basically, yeah, basically like a point blank competition, but they also had sing star on the side as well. So they're playing point blank and like singing tainted love at the same time, and they sort of added the points of how many stages you got far on point blank and what score you got on sing star. And whoever won that sort of like won the competition, which is really good. I think when we played Mortal Kombat, was it dead or alive? Um, for the yeah, it's either Mortal Kombat or Dead or Alive. I forgot which game it was, but yeah, it was that. I got absolutely destroyed. But there was this one. There was like also kids there as well. There must have been like a four-year-old girl, who's one of the Retro Collect um, team. They were there. Big them up for the Retro Collect team. Um, yeah, their girl, with, their little daughter was there, and there was, <laughs> there was this other guy who literally all he did was just like four four one button four four. He just kept on doing the power moves and literally perfect the little girl literally like twice. And we were like boo. Boo, child beater, child beater. And we were sort of like, just like kicking off at him, like jokingly. And then he, he got like really scared. It was well funny. He got, he got really scared. And then we were just like laughing, saying, You're a child beater. It's, every time we walked past, it's a child beater. And he sort of like came up to me about an hour later, go, It's because um, obviously the dad, the, um, the, yeah, the, the father of the daughter, he was there as well. And he was like taking the mickey. And this is where the way little daughter like, hang her up. Hand out to sort of say like good game, and he just went like this. He went like that. We were like, Boo! even more. We were like, you cheeky old fucker. 
All we did was just press forward, forward, and like fucking kick. It was just one of the characters. Like, like that, just perfect. Uh. And then she just like, hand around and say, good game. And you just like went, oh, like that. We were like, boo. Yeah, so that was funny. And he, we kept deliberately like, giving him evils for like for about three hours. He came up to us and was like, are you not going to beat me up? Or is he really angry with me? And we're like, just like, just taking a mickey. We're like, mate, we're just having fun with you, you know? Just having fun with you. But yeah, it was really... It's really good funny, yeah, and all the other competitions he entered, and the Retro Lord just say, The Child Beater! <laughs> Child Beater against Rich Game Retro! <laughs> <coughs> oh, man, I've been ill for the last few days, but fuck it up. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so they're my pickups. Yeah, it was such a brilliant event. Um, definitely, hopefully, I can get the one off um, in August. Um, Play Expo in Blackpool. Looks like I'm not going to be able to attend, guys. So, sorry about it, it's a bit too far. And it's all got other commitments that weekend, to be honest. But yes, but I'm all booked for Margate 2014. So if any of you guys want to go to it, it's, it's a brilliant three-day event. It's really good. Um, it's, it's a cross between sort of like the smaller events and like a big event. It's like a medium event. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's really good. I've all booked, booked the Premier Premier in. It's only £29 at the moment because Margate's just a really cheap place to live. And the Premier Inn is right next to um, the train station as well. So you just get off the train station, the premium's there, and it's only £4 for a taxi just up the road or just a half an hour walk into town. There's a kebab shop around the corner as well, which is brilliant, which, has what I, had, which I had every night, burger and chips every night. So if any of you guys do go, just message me, we'll definitely meet up, and yeah, I think the Retro Lords and that, them lot, they'll be doing the competitions, I can imagine. Um, Video Games Carnival will probably be there, he was at, yeah, Matt Brown, he was at the, at the mini revival as well. The Retro Collect team will be there doing their competitions. So it's really good. Definitely, I'm, this time I'm definitely going to get more involved in competitions. I did last time. I was playing Diddy Kong Racer and bloody, I literally lost it on the last corner. I'm like, no, I missed the power boost on the last corner. I literally went, no. Well, the, this other guy came zooming past me. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> so, yeah. Also lost to him second place in GoldenEye in the competition, fucking in Play Expo. So, yeah. So I keep him coming second all the time. So before I go to these events, I'm going to fucking I'm gonna up my game, I think. Bit of practice. They also gave me a Retro Revival membership card, which I think you um, get like an extra 10% discount off their, um, off the merchants that are selling there. And also you can get cheaper tickets, I think, for next time. So yeah, so, so, so glad to pick up that. Yeah, it was, br it was brilliant. You had the arcade, I think it was a uh, turn arcade. Basically the arcade machines that you could obviously play. And obviously they were like selling them as well, so I might be tempted to buy one of them. Just for when I like do little, do little events down south. But yeah, yeah, so carry on with my pickups. Um, seeing everyone's bloody charity shop pickups have been pissing me off. So I hit the charity shops hard. I went to 15 in like three towns. Absolutely nothing apart from one item. It pissed me off. One item. So yeah, so obviously with all my collection and that, um, I've been slowly collecting wireless controllers. I have every wireless controller apart from my PS1. And um, I went in one charity shop, and as you go, you know, I don't even bother even looking at the shelf anymore. I'm just like, do you have any games you haven't put out our back? We're pricing them up, or we haven't got any more. I'm like, I can see a whole box down there. Like, we're not selling them, we haven't tested them yet. I'm like, for fuck's sake. Okay, you have all this shit. We've got games all the shelf. I'm like, you've got the same Barbie games, same FIFA games on the shelf. You must have something different out back. And so, to be honest, four of them, four of the charity shops out, like the 15, did bring some boxes out, and they were all just trash games. But one of the boxes, there's a PS1 with loads of games and some controllers. I didn't need any of the games. There was like Hogs of War, I think there was Hogs of War and Resident Evil 2, but this, the discs were scratched, the manuals had been munched by a dog. The cases were just like eaten, probably by the same dog. So yeah, but I did offer them £3 just for um, PS1 wireless controllers. So... Um, I'm not sure if Sony did any official ones, but these were done by, I can imagine, Mad Cats. I oh, know, this is fire. So, so now I've got um, the Mars System, the Mega Drive, um, the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo Acclaim ones, the Saturn ones, got the PS1 ones, I've got PS2s. I'm not sure if they did Dreamcast wireless controllers. But yeah, so I nearly got a full set of wireless controllers from the, um, yeah. For all the consoles, so I'd have to have wires everywhere. So yeah, so they're pretty random. So for some reason, they're like they're set up like a Super Nintendo, like so you've got the L1 and R1 there, but then you still got the buttons there. So oh no, that must yeah, 
L1 and R1, and then obviously an extra button here is R2 and L2. So they're pretty random. But, but for two, three quid. But probably the amount of petrol, probably spent £20 worth of petrol driving around the charity shops. It's hit and miss, isn't it, to be honest? Hit and miss. But yeah. But when you pick up some good games there before, it sort of evens itself. The retro goddess. She gives and she takes. <laughs> <coughs> okay, I also, um, also got a manual from the Hoot. Cheers, mate. I completely forgot about that. I'm going to do you first, actually. RC Grand Prix. He messaged me saying he had um, a couple manuals um, for the Mars system for me. And um, I think I remember paying him two quid just for posting. And he said he didn't have... He said he didn't have one of them in the end, so he just sent me this one and just refund me two pound on PayPal. So if you see anything, mate, <laughs> just yeah, just give me a shout. I think I've got some manuals, or if you've got a list of manuals, I've got manuals coming out of my ears down there. So, so yeah. So my next bunch is mate. So my next bunch of pickups is just from a friend. He's called Dogface. He's a good lad. He is. Um, he sort of broke up with his wife um, probably about a few years ago. And she's been like forcing the house that he lives in to, to be sold, and he's he's been like putting it off because he's like his home and stuff. But yeah, he's finally agreed to sell it, and um, he's given me like some boxes before just to sell um, just the car boots. Just to, I just literally just give him ten pound for just a massive random box of crap, and I literally be getting my money back plus an extra twenty thirty quid. So which is good because when I go to the car boots, if I just have video games, people probably wouldn't buy for me. So I just have all ornaments, and he said he had um, obviously. He's going. He's going to go from like a four, three or four bedroom house just to live in a home with his mum. So he's got so much furniture, so much stuff, and obviously his girlfriend had some video games as well. And when he used to go around his house, he'd be like, "Oh, mate, can I buy that? Can I buy that?" And she'd be like, "No, it's my girlfriend's or his wife's." And obviously, after like a year and a half, he sort of like I guess he's just realised it's not going to happen. So he just sold me the box of us stuff. <laughs> so I got all this, I think it was for 20 quid, it was £15, but again, again we're extra fire because I felt a bit guilty. But um, one thing is, he gave me this C3PO. I did have an R2D2, I bloody sold an R2D2, like a cardboard cutout, probably about two months ago for like 20, 30 quid. But now I've got the fuck here, I've got C3PO, I'm thinking, oh, damn it, I wish I should have kept it. But yeah, so he gave me this. He also gave me loads of, in the box was just like empty just DVD cases and that. Um, he gave me some 360. Well, I didn't even have a 360, so I forgot what these are called. Just 360 covers. So one of them, Soul Calibur 4. The other one's Bioshock. So I don't, I don't own a 360. So a hoot, if you want if you want these, mate, let me know. I think. Um, also, um, yeah, I was surprised what was in the box. I didn't actually look at the box until like about a week later. I knew that what, what, one one thing was in there. There's loads of peripherals, but like Game Boy Advances and stuff, and um, I don't know, like I don't know, M3, RDS reel, just some random carts, which obviously must have like multiple games on. Um, XG flash card for the fastest, the smallest in the world. Some Japanese thing. I don't even know what it is. I haven't even looked at it. I guess, I don't know, I guess you hook it up to your PC, download the games onto the cart, looks like, and then put it, you know, and then put it in your Game Boy Advance. Um, yeah, loads of random cables, in-car charger. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a GameCube charger. In-car GameCube charger. Game Boy Advance, Power Lead, yeah, just like loads of random stuff. Also some cases, which I just literally just found Game Boy Advance in one of them. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a Game Boy Advance in one of them. Um, also an Xbox One CD case. Also, you get, also there was a DS in there, Nintendo DS, but the hinge is broken. So I'm definitely trying to have to get rid of that. I don't know if you'll fix the hinges. It looks like not. But it's just, just the old, old version. But literally I just wanted it for the box. Another Nintendo ca carry case. And then the Nintendo DS. This is the one with um, Metroid Prime. So that's what I just really wanted, actually. That's your box, because I've already got... <coughs> I've already got the uh, that, that Nintendo DS. 
But these are the things I actually desperately wanted from him, and that was a Game Boy Link cable. And it is, as you can see, still sealed. Beaker. So that will definitely go in my collection. Um, Advance Wars. Haven't, I don't think I played that game. I'm sure I remember playing Advance Wars, but not that one. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Ultimate Card Games. Doom. And the main thing I wanted, which was for 15 quid, literally all this is for 15 quid, and that was the Game Boy SP, the Mario Limited Edition. And it is in perfect condition. It would literally be sitting on the shelf. I used to literally, it would be in his spare room. And every time he used to go around his house for board games, he used to go upstairs and be like, oh, it's still here, mate. I'll give you some money for it. I'll give you a fiver for it. Like, jokingly, I'll give you a fiver for it. Dare not open it. Oh. It's got all the books and everything. Oh, another one of those flash drives. And it is in mint condition. He said his girlfriend or wife just brought it and then literally never played it. Oh, I've also got Mario vs. Donkey Kong. An extra game. Yeah, because it obviously came with the system as well. <laughs> So yeah, I didn't know it came in a carry case. I thought it would obviously come with the insert. But yeah. Oh, that must be the charger for it as well. Imagine it didn't come with a carry case. It came with a charger. But yeah. So well chuffed. Absolutely well chuffed with that. So for £15, I would have paid £15 alone just for the SP Mario one. But yeah, so yeah, so it was £15. I sort of felt a bit guilty because I took so much stuff from him. And I said I wouldn't I'd go, mate, I'm not going to sell this just in case his girlfriend comes back and wants a divorce and wants all her games back. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't. Well, let's put everything in neat and tidy. Sold the case. Sold the case. Okay, don't want to ruin that box. Don't want to ruin that box. Yeah, so cheers, mate. Um, yeah, he's, he's, I think he's got some other stuff. Here. He's got like a box Dreamcast with loads of cool games. There's only one thing I want from it, which was um, I think I think it's the cable, either the AV cable or just or just a SCART socket, which is you put it from Japan, which are quite expensive, I think. So yeah, so I'm trying to trying to trying to negotiate that often. On the pineapple juice, went out last night. Too many beers. Mm. And one thing that was also in there, in the box, which I haven't seen, which was, um, you know Psychic Pinball? He said this came with Psychic Pinball, and it's called Psychic Nation, and it's a CD. So not quite, I literally don't know nothing about it. He said he, he, he goes, remember, he remember, remember getting Psychic Pinball, <coughs> the Mega Drive game, from other Woolworths or something, and this came with it as well. So it says Cold Masters on it, Music for Nations, and there's like Warrior Soul, Television, Freak of Nature, Enemy, Apes, Pigs and Spacemen, Do I Need This, Tangle Feet, Messiah, <laughs> M.O.D., Crash and Burn, The Exploiters, Exploited, The Massacre. Yeah, so this came, literally, I guess this is just the music from the actual game. And inside, just a little CD case thing. It's just advertising. If I can get it out. It's just advertising. Um, yeah, just got information. Yeah, just, adver just advertising. Looks like Micro Machines 2. And inside, it's just got random. It's got the, the music. The, the music credits. Taken for the album King of Kill. Yeah, so it's from 1994. So if anything, know anything about that? Any Mega Drive fans? So yeah, 
which said it came with psychic pinball. It's got psychic pinball on the front, as you can see, look. <laughs> Pikachu, shut up. My stupid Pikachu. Every time the sun sort of the light changes the room or someone walks past, fuck him. He goes off. Just for when I go out, he just makes noises. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically all my pickups. For one, some good pickups. World Truff for my NES games. World Truff for the Mario. So for basically, yeah, 65, 70 quid. I just got all this. Definitely additions to my collection. I think I needed every single game. Um, I, yeah, I do have, um, looks like Snake's Revenge without the manual spare. So if anyone's got Pokemon Yellow Box and complete, I'll love to swap it for that. But yeah, so cheers guys, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't imagine I'm going to get any other pickups before Christmas, so this might be might be the last pickups for a few whiles. For a bit. Sorry, I'm probably going to a mate's house in a minute. Yeah, so it's going to be my last few pickups for a while. <coughs> so yeah, so cheers guys, yeah. Please like. Always like. Because um, when people like other videos, I sort of, that's how I get into other YouTubers as well. So more people like, if people like your videos, you sort of, you can sort of see that, and then you just check out their videos as well. And then it's just all just a cycle of like, 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 like. So yeah, so cheers, guys.